Hallelujah. Yes, because of time. We have limited time. And uh, I am here for you today. God sent me to you. So, I want to encourage you to be strong in the Lord. Amen. You are wired in a unique way by the creator of everything. If you are wired in a unique way by the creator of everything, you are no longer yourself in ideas and in behavior, but totally absorbed into the ideas and ways of your creator. There is nobody and there will be nobody quite like you. Tell your neighbor, there is nobody and there will be nobody quite like me. Yes. Nobody is quite like me. I am unique. I'm special. Are you? Yes. If you are unique, let me see your hand. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me take you to the book of Luke, chapter 11. From verse 14. If our master, Jesus Christ, was called names, then who are we? The soda can never be greater than the head. Jesus was driving out a demon that was mute. When the demon left, the man who had been mute spoke and the crowd said and the crowd was amazed but some of them said by Beelzebub the prince of demons he is driving out demons others tested him by asking for a sign from heaven Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them any kingdom divided against itself will be ruined, and a house divided against itself will fall. If Satan is divided against himself, how can his kingdom stand? I say this because you claim that I drive out demons by Beelzebub. Now, if I drive out demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your followers? drive them out. So then, they will be your judges. But if I drive out demons by the finger of God, then the kingdom of God has come to you. Amen. Consider this for a moment. Almost everyone in your life is more preoccupied, more engaged, more committed to themselves than you. Therefore, you know more about yourself than anyone who will ever meet you. Never forget this. It is not what men say about you that really matter in this life. It is what you believe about yourself. Jesus Christ was slandered. He was falsely accused. They said he was possessed with demons. Countless accusations were heard like stones against Jesus every day of his life. 
but it never affected him because he knew who he was. Do you know who you are? Do you know who you are? Jesus Christ believed in himself. That was why no one could change his opinion of himself. What he was about. His product. When you are doing what you really love to do best, nothing can stop you. No matter the opposition, criticism, persecution, intimidation, blackmail, name calling, campaign of calumny, slanderous remarks, you will continue to go on and on and on. When you know you are who God says you are, you will stay focused on your goal alone. And nothing can stop you. Jesus Christ never strived to look good. He simply was good. He did not labor to appear truthful. He was truthful. He did not struggle to have good reputation. He had character. People of God, in order not to end up like the masses out there who are merely wandering and unsure of their goal and dreams, your purpose must be clear. If your purpose is clear, your life will have meaning. Jesus Christ was called names. They say he was possessed with demons. But that could not stop him. He simply continued to cast out demons. The mind will always resent what it cannot master. Wars are fought because of ignorance and fear. What people don't understand, they call names. What they understand, they destroy. In every community, there is always a standard of doing things. In every profession, there is a standard. That is contrary to God's standard. When you are really doing what you love to do best, nothing can stop you. No matter the name calling, you will continue to go on. People of God, Jesus Christ knew he would be betrayed. But he continued to do what his father sent him to do. Because he loved people and because he obeyed his father in heaven. He taught us by example to serve people, not because we want to be appreciated, but because we love and obey God. When you are doing good and you are not appreciated, 
Don't stop. Don't be discouraged. Continue. Every successful person you see today wants to be admired, want to be, want to be loved and admired, but your enemies and critics will never leave your reputation unstained and untarnished. You must rise above that fact. When you are doing good and people do not appreciate it, don't be discouraged. Don't show love or kindness because you want praises from people. Because you want to be appreciated. Show love and kindness because you obey God and because you love people. No matter how close you are to Jesus, you can still be tempted. As a child of God, stay true to your goal in life. Be strong in challenges. Hard times must not impair you, but improve you. Remember, our Savior was called names. But that could not stop him. He continued to do what his father sent him to do. Because he loved people. And because he obeyed his father in heaven. In the face of trials, stay true to Jesus. In the face of persecution, stay true to Jesus. In the face of name calling, stay true to Jesus. Nobody is quite like you. You are created in a unique way by the creator of everything. Let people hate you, but not you. As children of God, love becomes our protection against the hatred of the adversary. Humility becomes our protection against the pride of the adversary. A little example can have a big influence. When you are called names, when you are persecuted, for Christ's sake, don't be discouraged. The Lord is with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. Be encouraged to stay true to Jesus in the face of trials. Trials are the sword in which a man, a woman of faith, flourishes. May God bless his word in your hearts.
in Jesus' name. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. So because of time, I'm ready to do the work of my Father in heaven. Are you ready? Are you ready? Thank you, choir.